there's this stereotype that you have to be really smart to study mathematics. That you have to be a genius. And I think it comes from just society. You know, if you go onto Google and you type in math nerd or something, you'll probably get some really skinny guy with big glasses. It's just a stereotype, right? And stereotypes exist for a reason, many times, you know? But the truth is, you don't have to be a math genius to learn mathematics. You don't have to be a math genius to study mathematics. You just need one thing, and that's patience. And also, of course, the desire to learn. You have to actually want to learn math. But patience is one of the most powerful things in the world. And it's one of the hardest, it is one of the hardest things to learn, to master, and to get good at, is to learn to be patient. It is incredibly hard because you can't control time, right? You, you, it's like, you just have to wait and, and trust the process. And that's hard. That takes faith. You have to believe in the process. You have to believe that in time, you will learn math. Given enough time and effort, you will eventually learn it. And that's the hardest part about it. And patience applies to everything. I can talk about patience all day long. It applies to investing. It applies to everything. Patience is, is super key. It's something that every person should actively work on. It's something I actively work on. But you don't have to be a genius to study math. You, you just have to be patient. You know, I, th I think I've told the story before, but I'll share it again because it was just a simple comment and it stayed with me for the rest of my life. I'm getting goosebumps. I was in grad school and I was sitting in a classroom. It was an algebra classroom. It was the first year graduate level algebra class for incoming graduate students. It was my first, my first semester in grad school. And the teacher was this very large Indian man. He was very, very big. He passed away, I think it's been like nine years now. Very big man. I mean, tall, large man, very large man, very serious. He, he would walk in and he would scribble all over the board and he would just spit out information. And I remember going home every day and spending two to three hours just rewriting everything I wrote down from the board and trying to dissect it all. So much knowledge came from this man. So one day we're in class and I don't remember exactly why this came up. Now keep in mind, this is an, is an algebra class, abstract algebra. But for some reason, he was writing double series on the board. So you have an infinite sum with the sigma notation and then another one. And he, he just, he was just like a string of equations and inequalities with these double series. And I'm sitting there copying it down, hoping to make sure my I's and J's are in the right places. And I'm starting the sums and my inequalities are correct. You know, it's, it's a less than, not a less than or equal to. And, you know, writing down all the little notes. And one of the international students, I remember, I didn't really know him. He was Asian. He sat in the far back on the left, I remember. And he raised his hand. And this, this guy, he had kind of had a reputation for being really good at mathematics. He had passed his qualifying exams, both of them, even before, even before taking the class. I mean, he, he was sharp. And so he raises his hand and he says, Professor, how can we get better at working with these, with these double series? And the professor looked at him and he just said, experience. And when you think about that, what is experience? 
How, how do you get experience? It takes two things. It takes practice and it takes time. So you just have to be patient. And I thought, that's an interesting answer. And I don't, I don't think he was blowing the student off. I think he was being sincere when he said that. Because how do you get good at that? Right? Experience. I mean, he, this professor published so many papers his whole life. I mean, he was a professional mathematician. His whole life was devoted to mathematics. So this was just a product of his experience because these double series, these aren't things you typically see. I mean, I, I already had a bachelor's degree in mathematics and I had good grades, I had a good GPA, but I'd never really worked with double series. And so here I am in this graduate class in an algebra class, mind you, and there's double series. This is something from, from like analysis, right? You would think it probably had something to do with matrices. I, I don't remember. I don't remember. The point is, it takes experience, which requires practice and time, which is all about patience. And it works, okay, it works. If you are patient, there are things that you will learn that you don't understand now that you will understand later. I I've experienced it multiple times with multiple specific things in mathematics. The inequality proofs, involving mathematical induction. I used to never be able to get that. I never understood it until like a year after learning it. I tried so hard. I never understood why induction worked intuitively. I remember reading the book. It gave some analogy about dominoes. I'm like, why the heck is it talking about dominoes? Dominoes knocking each other over. I'm like, what, what is this about? And I remember, I remember reading the book like 10 times putting it down, reading it the next day over. I just, I just don't get it. It, does, it doesn't matter how many times I read the same thing. Went on Wikipedia, I read something similar. It did not matter how many explanations I got. I was not able to understand it. The only way I was able to understand it was after time passed. Patience. So you don't need to be a genius to learn math. You just need patience and you need to realize that you're just not going to understand everything. You need to have the patience to realize that and trust the process that every time, every time you sit down and do mathematics and you do a little bit of math, you get a little bit better. And you don't just get better at math, okay? You get better at sitting down and doing math. So you get better at taking action you get better at focus, you get better at discipline, you get better at making routines, at building solid habits in your life. It, it, it does so much for you, besides just learning mathematics. Anyways, the point of this video is, if you're trying to learn math and you feel like you're not smart enough, it, it really isn't about that. I think it really comes down to just patience. Take your time, keep doing it, you have your whole life and sometimes you won't understand certain things and other people will not just in math but in other subjects and you'll feel like you're the worst you'll feel like you're the dumbest person in the room I've, I've felt that before not in math but in other things and then all of a sudden it'll click one day and you'll look back and you'll think why wasn't I able to get it and it could just be that your mind wasn't ready. You lacked the prereqs. Maybe you had something else going on in your life. Whatever. Whatever. Just know that with enough time and effort and patience, you can learn anything, my friends. Yeah. Check out my courses. Check out my books. Links in the description. You don't need to be a genius to learn math, my friends. You just need patience. Stay strong.